Welcome to my YouTube video. Um, in this video, we're going to, or I'm going to show you how to go back onto a custom ROM. Uh, go back onto a stock ROM, sorry, from a custom ROM. Now, as you can see, I'm running the Darky 9.3 Extreme Edition at the moment. Fantastic ROM. However, there may be a I need on occasion that you have to go back to stock you know back to a stock ROM now to do that obviously you'll download the, the ROM from Sam firmware um, and you'll flash that um, through Odin but before you before you do any flashing and going back to stock ROM if you've got any lag fixes enabled on the phone you need to disable them so what we'll do is we'll boot into the recovery menu on the stock ROM and um, we'll check that the lag fix is disabled. I'm pretty sure it is disabled but if it's not disabled then it gives you the option to disable it. Okay, now that will start up and um, once it boots into recovery we'll have a little look and we'll see if the lag fix is disabled. That's his own recovery. Now we want to go down to um, Voodoo Lag Fix. It's in the recovery. Um, here's your options here disable, enable, and down here, if you can see it, it says Voodoo Lag Fix is actually disabled. Next boot, it will still be disabled. So that's good. Okay. Now the beauty with clockwork recovery is you can um, you can boot up in download mode or you can reboot to download mode rather than having to pull the battery or start it up and shut it down and go through all that palaver so we're just going to scroll down to reboot to download mode so now the phone will automatically go into download mode. Okay. And once you're in download mode, we'll um we'll start uploading. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Now I've already got Odin on this um computer. Odin starting up, there we go. Now again, it's just a, a one file flash and um, I'm going to put JPY back onto it and there's JPY there and the tar file. Okay, now that's the only file you put in it and again, just make sure that it is dot tar jpy 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 dot tar now if, if it doesn't say dot tar it won't flash ok now that you've you've got your um, Odin set up your phone in download mode let's connect it to the computer Lag fix is disabled, so it's just a matter of flashing again. As you can see here, the COM port is is yellow, which means that it's picked up your your phone. So now all we do is we just go to start, and basically what it will do is it will run through the it will run through the program and um, put JPY Froyo 2.2 the stock ROM back onto the phone and again it's just going to it's going to take a few minutes to load up you can see it's starting to load up there on the phone and also it's loading up on the Odin now there's no point getting you to sit and watch 
watch it loading up. So we'll pause uh, the video and we'll come back to it once it's loaded. As you can see there, that's it just about loaded up. Once it um, finishes, it will say reset in blue and then it will immediately say pass. Your phone will reboot and it will take about 10 minutes again for the for the firmware to load up on the, on the phone. That's it resetting and now the phone will automatically um, reboot and that's it as you can see there. That's it starting to load up the the ROM and that is us now back on to 2.2.1 JPY. So again, there's no point in getting you to sit and sit and watch the the phone load up. So in the meantime, um, I would chill and make yourself a, a cup of tea. Right folks, that's us back and as you can see the phone has rebooted. Let's have a look. And now it's back on JPY 2.2.1 It's just left a little trail of darky ROM. But as you can see, there's no super user. So once you've done that, if you power off the phone again, once it's powered off, just perform a factory data reset, go into your free button recovery, volume up. Home, power, let go, and then do your factory data reset. Okay, and just confirm that, and you can wipe the cache partition. Now, I'm not going to do a a format of the SD card because I'm going to put Darkie's ROM back on it and uh, Darkie's zip files are already on my card so that's it that will reboot now and it will be totally it should be totally stock so we'll just let that boot up and then once it's booted up we'll go back into the phone and just make sure that it should be how it is. Okay, it might just take a a few minutes longer than normal to to come round because it's been um, it's obviously been reset. So once it comes to and um, the phone will be totally stock again. But to remove all traces of absolutely everything, you really need to format the internal SD card as well. But when it does this, I mean, there's don't panic because it's just the phone loading up, and there you go. That's, us. That's the phone asking me for to put in my area. I just asked for the SIM card there, but the SIM card's not in the phone. Next, next, next. Finish. No, no. It would be a little bit sticky for a minute or so, it's just a SD card obviously scanning and it takes a bit of time 
a pain in the backside, but there you go. I think that's it complete. Now if we click on applications, you'll see everything is now gone. And it is back, right back to how the phone was when you took it out of the box. Okay. And just to let you double check. 2.2.1 JPY JPY and it, that's it, it's as easy as that and obviously if you want to flash back to a custom ROM you've got to go through the, the process of uh, rooting the phone again which is in one of my other videos and that's how you put the phone back to back to stock, it's as simple as that um, it didn't brick so, if it breaks you're obviously doing something wrong. So there you have it, that's the phone back. And once again folks, um, thanks for, for watching, and I'll speak to you later.